Welcome back to another El Yucateco recipe video, everyone. My name is Mike, and today I'm gonna show you how to do some Memphis hot dogs with an El Yucateco kick, and it's coming up right now. Once again, welcome back everybody. We really appreciate all your support as always, and don't miss out on any of the great content and recipes that we're putting out. Make sure you're clicking that follow button down there so you can stay up to date. Hot dogs have been served since the 1870s, and it seems like no matter where you are in the world, there'll be a local hot dog recipe. Whether it be the Chicago style hot dog or the Coney dog, but today I'm gonna show you a really awesome recipe. This is the Memphis style hot dog. And it's a very fitting recipe for barbecue, which is why we're gonna kick this off with a homemade barbecue sauce. In a small sauce pot, you're gonna start with one cup of ketchup, then we'll be adding some distilled white vinegar, brown sugar, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, onion powder, fresh cracked black pepper, a pinch of cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and we're gonna send this recipe to the next level with some El Yucateco Black Label Reserve. This is the perfect sauce for this recipe because it has a nice smoky flavor, which is just gonna take that barbecue flavor to the next level. Once you have all your ingredients in the pot, go ahead and heat that on low to medium heat, bring it to a gentle simmer, stir it frequently. This will take about 10 to 12 minutes to reduce it down to the correct consistency. And keep in mind the Memphis style sauce is a little bit thinner style sauce, so you don't wanna make this too thick, you don't wanna cook it for too long. Now once that's done, just set it aside and let's talk about these hot dogs. We're using an all beef hot dog today, so just use whatever your favorite all beef hot dog brand is. And I've chosen a peppered bacon for this. Now simply wrap that bacon around the hot dog and secure the loose end with a toothpick. Now for today's cook, I'll be using a pellet smoker. No matter what smoker you use, just preheat it to about 250 degrees. Once it's fully preheated and you have clean smoke, go ahead and get your hot dogs on. Now depending on how big the hot dogs are and how thick the bacon is, this can take anywhere from 45 minutes to a little over an hour. But once that bacon is cooked and it has some color, you can remove the hot dogs and place them in the buns. And here's where the uniqueness of the Memphis style hot dog comes into play. We're gonna go ahead and top this with some finely chopped white onion. Then we have some yellow, orange, and red bell pepper, also diced. Now top all that with some finely shredded cheddar cheese. And last, but certainly not least, our barbecue sauce that we made. And here we go, like I always say, it's my favorite part of the video. Cheers, everyone. That is fantastically delicious, and that barbecue sauce is one that you are definitely gonna wanna try at home. I guarantee you it'll go good on anything. It really finished this Memphis-style hot dog recipe off, but it's got a lot of versatility. So be sure to give this a try at home and try it with all of your favorite foods. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. As always, don't forget till next time to kick up all your recipes with the king of flavor. And I'll see you on the next video.